Hello Taurus, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. There's going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel at Val 53 Tarot. She's a read for you as well. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Wow. Okay, um, jumping into this Taurus, a little bit fascinated myself. Um, this is this is very interesting to see this. Right away, what they're showing me, and it's it's almost it's weird because I'm getting this energy of. It seems like they're doing something the right way in order to do something the wrong way. It's almost like when something suits them or suits their wants or suits their needs, but let me not rant. Right away, they are in the process of gaining clarity and perspective on the overall situation, but unfortunately, it is definitely causing quite a bit of, well, fixation and obsession, possibly to the point of greed. Now, whatever this energy is, there is quite a bit of difficulty regarding finances, security, even though there is some type of living situation or foundation in place, overall, they're saying, well, I'll just kind of take it easy. I'll just kind of rest, recover, and kind of just let this go. So whatever this train of thought is, they're letting go of it, which is fascinating because there is some type of financial abundance coming in. Whatever this is, though, they're choosing to not fully 100% make any drastic changes. They're showing and telling me, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not making any big changes or drastic changes. Instead, they're trying to kind of strategize or put together some sort of plan here. But along the way, this is what's fascinating. They do have some type of breakthrough or realization in, so they do find an answer. But they're also saying, well, I have zero love. And they're feeling very burdened and pressured by whatever responsibilities that they're having to take care of. It's almost like um, ignorance is bliss. And then when you get the band-aid or the veil ripped off, it's like, huh? It's like you might as well just pour out that bliss, that cup of bliss, and just let it just be dry. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what else we can find. Yeah, it's regarding finances, investments, their work and their career. Um, I feel like things are becoming much more clearer for them. But again, that's like, that's what I'm talking about. They're doing something the right way to then just turn around and flip it in the opposite direction and do something a little bit toxic or unhealthy. It's kind of like saying, well, I went to, I don't know, I went to AA today. So then later tonight I can go have a glass of champagne or something to celebrate. It's like, that's, Careful, cross watcher. Careful. Careful, 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 careful. Mess with the divine and find out. There's another harsher way to say that, but I'll, I'll tell it to you first time nicely. 
The second time won't be nicely. In fact, you'll find out in your own life what that means. Don't mess around with divination that way. You're being watched. I'll just say it that way. You're being watched. Yeah, they're, they're playing energy games now. That's fine. Like I used to say, time to play. Figure out what you need to do about your future. Like I just said, figure it out. Figure it out. There you go. I'm not gonna hold your hand but I will guide you and help direct you. But I'm not gonna just, oh, do this, do that. I'm gonna, not gonna give you the direct answer or the key or the solution to your problems. That's part of the journey to gain that experience and that wisdom and learn those lessons so that you can stand on your own two feet and I don't have to hold your hand. Yes, there are problems and there's issues, but you gotta be able and willing to do what you need to do to take care of what is yours to take care of. That's called responsibility. That's what's called being a grown up, an adult. You gotta do it. Yes, there's problems. Yes, there's issues, but let's not look for any shortcuts here. Let's not look for shortcuts. Tiptoeing. <clears throat> yeah, good idea. Tiptoeing. It's interesting, though, because whatever this financial abundance is come, that's coming in for them, Taurus, um, they're very kind of like diva, diva-ish. Everyone knows what that is. It's kind of like they like to be pampered. They like to be taken care of. You know, it, um, nothing wrong with that. It's just an energy of, like I said, you put these two energies together and it's like entitled, a silver spoon born in their mouth. No, they don't necessarily may have been raised that way, but... Just because you're an adult or grown doesn't mean it's like, okay, now to pop in the silver spoon and just act like everything is mine for the taking. Ooh, geez, 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 geez. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. You try to take a shortcut and it will backfire and bite. It'll backfire and bite. And this is what's very fascinating is like I said here, Taurus, they're not fully 100% taking responsibility or accountability for the changes that they know they need to make. They're not fully 100% acknowledging that they need to even work on themselves, yet they expect to kind of, it's fascinating, they're breadcrumbing themselves and wondering why they're a small bird. It's like, what do you think? Eagles don't feast on breadcrumbs, yet you expect to fly and squawk around like you're some big shot? Think about it. There's always some sort of bigger animal out there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Why do I feel like I got to stand up for Taurus here a little bit? Lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy effort. Take 10, 15, 20 years to study yourself. And then come back to me. Then you'll be on my level. Actually, no, because then by then I'll be 10, 15, 20 years still above you. And that's not me bragging or boasting. It's just, are you willing to put in the work and the effort to get to where you're trying to be, to become who you want to be? Or are you just like, hmm, what's the fastest, easiest route to get there because I'm too lazy? It's like... Hmm... They don't know what they want to do now. Do the work. There you go. Like I said, but then if that's the case, why are they tiptoeing around and look at the snake? I do like this card. It's very just self-explanatory. If 
by the way, there's the tower following it. Like I said, the eye in the sky, you're being watched. You're being watched. The truth can be a rude awakening. And that's what's taking place. <laughs> Lust, not love. Lust, not love. That's what they're showing me. They're like, hmm, I've realized something. Well, I don't know why I just took on an accent, but... Let me try this. Aha, I have an idea for this connection between me and them. I'll just paint a picture. There is no new love. Like I just said at the beginning of this. Ignorance is bliss. They don't know what they're doing. Grow up. Grow up. They, wow, 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 wow. Whoever this person is, is playing king of the castle. But they themselves don't even have a roof above them. Unfortunately, this is, in a sense, towards a connection, commitment, or marriage between the two of you. There might even be a living situation in place. So they're all about the fun, flirtatious energy. But when it comes to love, nope. Empty cup. Empty cup. And they know it. And But for some reason, they know it, but things are being cleared up. And that's what's fascinating. They're like, I just want to make things right. I just want to straighten things out. And it's like, well, start off by... Not taking shortcuts and start taking your life seriously. That's how you make things right. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone here, Taurus, we do have showing up. Capricorn. Libra. Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius. Taurus and Leo. Goodbye.